Hello everyone, I am Oracle Unicorn and welcome. This is your weekly Sagittarius reading and keep in mind this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Put some things in your back pocket. You never know what you might need it for later. And also please keep in mind to check your rising Venus and moon signs. They may also help you when it comes to putting certain messages together to really uh, bring clarity. Oh, such beautiful words. Bring clarity to your situation. All right. See, I totally shuffle, 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 put certain cards in, shuffle, 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 put some cards in. So I find it very interesting whenever one reading has like four to five of the same cards as another reading. Because that's exactly how I put my cards back. It's shuffle, 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 put one in, shuffle, 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 put one in, and then see. Jim and I had the law too, so <laughs> that one was an overall reading for that one. And the eagle. So, Sagittarius. Oh, and if you wouldn't mind, please hitting that like button and subscribe. That would greatly help the channel. And if you would like a personal reading with me for your specific scenario questions that you may have about your uh, situations that you may be going through in life, um, the information to get in contact with me for a personal reading is in the description box below. And if you would like to donate to my channel for all of you who have donated to my channel, thank you so much. And the information for that, actually for the link for that, is in the description box below as well. So, thank you very much for listening to my spew and let's get on with your weekly reading Sagittarius. Okay. So, for those of you that do have Gemini in your chart, I would definitely go look at that reading. There may be some things in there that will and can help you mixed when it comes to this. Alright, this is my rabbit hole deck. Gemini had my shaman deck. So, what other messages do we have? For our dear Sagittarius's. See, I almost said Gemini. You may be dealing with a Gemini. Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You have the strength card in reverse on the strength card. Sagittarius, you're having an immense amount of strength, but it's asking you to have a little more strength, or you might be dealing with a Leo, and to be careful to have more strength when it comes to this Leo, because you do have a lighthearted message coming in for you that was foretold and actually kind of like in your intuition about, like, or some of you were having visions about it, or you were hearing um, uh, your guides talk to you about this uh, light-hearted message and you are keeping it a secret. Either you're giving this message of a sensitivity of emotions about change and a perception of change that is having you to have strength, but also for some of you, that to relinquish some of that strength and go ahead and um, give this message out that it's going to create you a great amount of abundance within that and that's just for some of you all right Sagittarius strength in moving into calmer waters you're not yet in the calmer waters area you have not quite seen your ships come in but you are having strength to be able to have the patience in to seeing your ships come in and an emotional offer comes in for you. Oh, wow, with the Queen of Cups change going in. So, either you're giving out or receiving an emotional offer possibly by a water person or someone who embodies the Queen of Cups because she does have her hand over her cup 
kind of waiting for the right time and the right person to give her cup to. And this may be the lighthearted message you may be giving out or be receiving, possibly also when it comes to, to sensitivity of emotions or secrets being withheld and having foresight about it and being a record keeper upon that and kind of changing changing the ships not coming in i feel like changing the energy of these ships not coming in coming out of being single that is interesting sagittarius This has got to be with the emotions of love. Okay, I gotta have you here. We are heroes tonight and we will fly above the sky. That is so wow. Wow, Sagittarius. You have very, very strong feelings for someone. And you just don't, I just feel you just don't know how to give this lighthearted message to this person, nor the right words to say on how to reveal some of these secrets of sensitivity and, 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 and being able to see certain aspects of the future that I feel you really do see with this person. You feel it's too late. There's too much. Wow. That there's no collaboration in this. And that, that there will be no collaboration, no movement into this. It's like... Um, sensitivity about this could be you're going inward about giving these passionate um, messages out and some of you it's like you're holding back sensitivity about messages to or with or from a Virgo because this is a Virgo card so, Sagittarius, what the hell have you gotten your emotions locked up into? Oh, wow. Holy cow. I'm just going to lay out the rest of the cards. A decision being made about... I feel secrets about a third party. Holy cow, because you have the Page of Cups here and the Three of Cups and the Emperor. Communication of cleansing, illumination of communication. You have so much communication here. I feel like you're, hold you're the one holding back communication about a wish unfulfilled uh, record keeper when it comes to this king of cups re involving this queen of cups and a decision about i feel releasing a um a secret about something of some sorts 
and wanting a fiery, passionate, like, new start. Like, envisioning and wanting to manifest a passionate, like, new start and honoring your King of Wands status. And re I feel relinquishing control when it comes to keeping third parties involved and, and making a decision towards an endeavor that you really want to go towards. And that's why I feel this chariot is here when it comes to collaboration, but they're both upside down. But it's like this message, it's like you're wanting to take this message and create movement in when it comes to these these ideas and these passionate like ideas that you have when it comes to this message and, and collaborate. Because right now there's no collaboration at all. But you're you're wanting to collaborate about this information when it comes to the queen of cups when it comes to this queen of cups there's someone who embodies this energy and it's amplifying change you want change when it comes to this queen of cups and being in this single energy and and taking them out of this single energy seeing them as no longer being accessibly accessible to you in a single state and that's why you feel like the sun is just not there in your favor you feel like that's why you lack strength about moving to calmer waters with this person that your ships have already gone uh, you feel as if all you have to offer is kind of like the Knight of Cups like energy and you could possibly be going inwards when it comes to your sensitivity about really wanting to grant passionate um, messages and desires for this person and you just I feel like you're you're lacking the the, the, the guard, the, 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 um, what am I saying? It's like you're, you're lacking the, um, the, really? Sagittarius, what's with these love songs here? I've got a mix going on. I didn't know there was any kind of love songs in this mix. In the beginning, there really wasn't. Now I'm doing a Sagittarius reading, and I've been having this on for probably the last two hours, this same mix, because it's like a nine-hour mix. So I'm just now doing a Sagittarius reading. This was not going on in the Gemini reading. Only now that I decided to do Sagittarius reading is you're having literally love song after love song going on. Confidence! <laughs> You're lacking confidence to embody this king of wands, to stand in your power for this passionate new endeavor and start and decision that you want to come out of secret with. But there's like a three of cups energy and I'm feeling this is this three of cups card is about third party energy and feeling as if you need control through every little aspect in your life I love this song I love being on my nightcore kicks. <laughs> they make me really happy. <laughs> Friends. Support and aid. I'm feeling it's like you're you're lacking support and 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 aid from your friends to really make a clear decision upon this. Like I'm feeling it's they're it's like they think you're freaking <laughs> they like say, yeah, I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. But you are being spiritually empowered to go through it. <laughs> Somehow, for some way, some reason, this is going to be a spark of like illumination for you. 
and giving of knowledge, conscious awareness of hidden knowledge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, hidden knowledge and shit. And having wisdom and having the patience to really come to a full awareness about Wow, your intuition on this and having trust. But you're having realistic caution but imaginary feels upon this 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 endeavor, but it's like a sunken treasure of self-discovery. It's jumping into a new adventure into something and being afraid of not taking like jumping off that 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 security pad. Jeez, another one. You are all in your heart space, Sagittarius. All in your heart space about this. And it's like, I feel like you're gaining motivation into... Taking the chance. Let's see. Yep. Growth coming out of uh, depression of the lack thereof when it comes to having the knowledge of uh, what it is that you possess that you feel someone this queen of cups needs wow and you get the the friendship card it's like you want to offer a friendship but you want to let also know the passion you have and knowledge of this hidden passion that you have for this person and how you want to trust in this new like coming together as friends and growing into this uh, unity with them yeah you want to make a spontaneous jump into it a fiery jump and it's like you feel like it's impulsive but it's like it's the decision it's the decision that you're trying to um, like I can't even find my words Sagittarius like it's the decision you're trying to Um, what's that word? Make a decision about? I don't know. It's, it's the decision that you're making a decision about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and going into this change. And have always had foresight about this. For some reason, it's like you always knew something about this connection. Especially when it comes to this Queen of Cups. It's like... It's like... A record keeper of the fact that it's like a wish come true with you may have water in your in your um, chart or a record of or like that's the secret uh, you know it's a wish come true for this water sign which is maybe holding you back or that you're you're trying to um, embody more of the water sign to see if this is a wish come true for you. Um, it's like there's two males here. Three. Three males for two females. One of them's the Empress, the other one's the Queen of Cups. The Empress you see as the Sun upside down, the Queen of Cups you see as the Nine of Pentacles upside down. Or that could be both aspects of that person that you see. But also this Empress is with the Law. So this could be someone that you're dealing with in a third party that you may be married to that you really don't see a future with anymore. 
and that you're possibly splitting up with because you want to change and be with this Queen of Cups person more. But it's like you're afraid because of possibly this, maybe a King of Cups, maybe a Virgo person. Because I really see you as the King of Wands and not really having the the strength to embody the Queen of or the King of Wands towards the uh, Queen of Cups. Because I feel like you're leaving this Empress person, and I'm thinking that might be like a mother of some sort, like mother of your child of some sort, that you see the sun upside down with, but your wish fulfillment is honoring and being this queen of, king of cups and this king of wands energy towards this queen of cups, I mean, it, it can go a few different ways. And that's the hidden knowledge and that's what you really want to consciously express and give lighthearted messages about and starting to come into uh, feeling motivated and growth into making a spontaneous jump into it. Okay. Sagittarius. What other messages do you have for beautiful Sagittarius is in freaking love apparently because this is luck is on your side Sagittarius. Your own fucking card. Your own fucking card comes out. Luck is on your side, and communication is the key. Okay? Communication. See, Gemini, you may end up, like, this, this, this other person. You may be dealing with a Gemini, and that Gemini probably just embodies the Queen of Cups energy. However, this really resonates with you, or this could be you got to have a little more clarity cut kind of truth behind your communication more truth behind your communication and luck will be on your side oh yeah hidden truth like your communication has to be all about your hidden truths oh wow that's exactly how i feel about this holy cow yeah what do you need to release holy cow and, and luck is on your side with this as long as you give truthful and you and your loved ones are safe and bring love into the situation. Cancer and Gemini. So we have a lot of water here. We have a lot of air and we have a lot of fire. We only have one earth. So this is so very much not really grounded. These are an ocean of emotions. <laughs> this is such an ocean of emotions. I feel with a freaking volcano in the middle of this fucking ocean, okay? <laughs> like, which is creating your freaking grounding, but you need the air. Cut, cure, wow, work through your fears. Ain't that, that couldn't be any perfect. Work through your fears into this. Give clear, cutting, truthful, no matter what the outcome is, it has to be extremely truthful communication. Extremely truthful. I mean, bare to the bone, truthful. Uh, I don't even see that uh, the Queen of Pentacles here, so I'm seeing that you're just gonna have to be cuttingly, emotionally, extremely truthful about all the hidden knowledge and how you feel about everything when it comes to this full hearted, light hearted message. Alright. Yep. Meditate and contemplate on this, how you're going to bring it out. Maybe you have been doing that, and that's what's bringing you to an indecision about this. Alright. Thank you so much for all your views. I greatly appreciate it. This is all I have for you, Sagittariuses, and I will see you next week. Please don't forget to like subscribe and share all of our social media and if you would like a personal reading with me about your specific situation the information for that is in the description box below thank you so much for watching watching and i will see you next week <laughs> goodbye unicorn out